What's up, heathens? How ya doing? Today we're gonna be going over more comments, and usually we pick the winner from last week, but I think that we can all say that the last couple weeks' winners have been just the the Jordan B. Peterson fanboy group. Like, all of them win Dumbass of the Week this week. If you've watched the last couple of episodes, then you automatically get a million god points. Remember, these god points are worth about as much as economic advice from Donald Trump. But today in the comments, we have somebody asking me for 400 Lucy skeletons in order to prove evolution. Apparently, I can't even win a debate when I'm on the right side. And again, my name says it all, Godless. And apparently I sound like a woman and that makes me sound unfunny or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the two are connected. And finally, gravity does not exist. A commenter proves this without a shadow of a doubt. If any of this dumb shit interests you, then please stay tuned. Oh, but of course, first we have... First up on Today I Learned that teens prefer harm reduction messaging on substance abuse instead of the typical don't do drugs talk suggests a new study, which found that teens generally tuned out abstinence only or zero tolerance messaging because it did not reflect the realities of their life. And I have to say I'm really glad that teens nowadays are rejecting these unreal expectations and wanting more real solutions to the issues. And uh, I have to say that that shows a, a, a lot of maturity in at least the teens that were studied in this particular thing. So I, I cannot agree with this more that uh, redu harm reduction or, you know, no zero tolerance policy kind of education is a good idea and it should be taught more in school. Next on Today I Learned that Volvo opened up the patent for the three-point seatbelt because it had more value as a free life-saving tool than something to profit from. I just have to hand it to Volvo. Good on you for doing something that's great for humanity and not praising the almighty dollar and trying to make a quick buck off of it. Good for you. And finally on today I learned that marine experts in Norway believe they have stumbled upon a white whale that was trained by the Russian Navy as part of a program to use underwater mammals as a special ops force. Holy fuck! Can you imagine a literal SEAL Team 6? Oh shit, it's got six SEALs in it and they are gonna fuck Bin Laden up. Well, I mean, he's already been fucked up, but you know, the next one. Uh, but I have to say, like, using uh, sea mammals or whatnot for various different functions and training them has been a long-standing thing. Although I wouldn't suggest it for like, <laughs> you know, special ops <laughs> as far as like military shit. But, you know, uh, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, they're going to do weird shit. I mean, it's Russians. Come on. Ah, but now we have the out of text comic for the week. So if you guys don't know, we found an out of context comic and we just sort of let you revel in its out of contextness. Here's today's I will grab soon. I mean, basically, this is me every time um, Casey gets home. But anyways, I hope that you enjoy this little bit of out of context. You know what time it is now, right? Shitty ass science. We're gonna answer some science shit really wrong. All right, what we got today for, uh, for, for this shitty, not out of context, shitty ass science. What scientific ability does this dog have to breathe fire like this? How is it able to create the fire and bear the heat? Oh my God. Okay, so there are these specially trained dogs out there that have been specially bred to breathe fucking fire. All right, it may be the Russians or the Ukrainians or some other kind of entity out there, but they have molded dogs into fire 
breathing mini dragons, okay? And basically, this is one that just escaped and made it into the general population. But, you know, the Russians and all these other people, they'll send these dogs out. They look all cute and stuff. The chihuahuas are the ones you gotta look out for because, you know, it's kind of like spiders. The smaller they get, the fiercer their fire and the more fire they spit out. I mean, with the chihuahuas, it actually comes out both ends. But in this particular case, it's a golden retriever. And of course, he's using that dog to light his little fire pit right there. I have to say, this is a good use of a Russian trained golden retriever dragon dog. But, um, it, you know, if it were me, I would probably put that thing on, on show, like around in the neighborhood or something. Just be like, look, don't fuck with me. My dog can breathe fire. Do it, Fido. It's like, don't fuck with my house or he will light your ass on fire. But anyways, that's it for the shitty ass science. Now you guys know what we do. Comments of the day. Prepare to Facebook yourself in the next week. Oh, yeah. Comments. It's been a while since we've done the, this type of, like, uh, uh, you know, comment thing. Oh, man. All right. Stefan the Rainbow Phoenix. Woo, with a name like that, you can't disappoint, am I right? Can you present the 400 Australopithecus afarensis fossils? Otherwise, it's not different from Christians claiming that there were over 500 witnesses of the resurrected Jesus without being able to present those witnesses, and both claims require faith. Okay, so uh, requiring such a number of fossils to actually be in existence in order to prove that they indeed, like, are part of our lineage or to prove anything about evolution or our common descent or our link with other great apes is uh, rather um, ridiculous. <laughs> so you don't need 400 fossils or anything like that. We have fossils of Australopithecus. We know their uh, structure and build and everything like that. We've been able to extract a lot of information from those fossils about our lineage. And we don't need, like I said, 400 of them in order to assert anything. All we need is like the one that we found in order to make uh, different discoveries about our lineage. You're just being very fucking ridiculous right now. And I want you to recognize that. Also, it's nothing like the 500 witnesses claim from Paul in the Bible. If you guys don't know, that's from 1 Corinthians uh, like 3 through 15 or something like that. This is... It's just a claim that people saw a risen Jesus. The problems with that particular claim, though, are that one, it's just Paul that's reciting, uh, you know, information uh, he got somehow, but still, it's just an anecdotal claim. And uh, two, it would still be a hallucination. So a mass hallucination is totally within the realm of reality. So those two things are not the same. We have physical evidence for Australopithecus. We don't have any evidence for these 500 witnesses. So that that's the difference there. You acting like they're exactly the same is real dipshitty. Washuahaba, I love the fact that you can't win debate even while being on the right. I mean, if I was on the left, could could I still win a debate? Or do, do I always have to be on the right in order to win a debate? But even here, I mean, D. Marble doesn't understand how gravity works. He doesn't grasp the concept of gravity or anything. So me literally saying anything would defeat D. Marble here. Now, granted, I know that I'm not always 100% spot on with science or I may misspeak uh, whenever I'm doing a live show or something like that, but that doesn't detract from the reality of gravity or it doesn't detract from any win that I might have. I don't really see them as wins. I see them as presenting correct information or as correct as I can present, I guess. And uh, in that way, I guess I win. You don't really have to present a lot of information to counter these flat earth idiots. Jordan, the leaked NASA document exposed you as a paid shill. Yeah, I mean, I did help with that particular document that went around the Flat Earth community that was saying that we're all paid shills or whatnot, and it was definitely a fake document. I know because we conceived it, somebody leaked it to uh, the Flat Earthers or whatnot. The fact that, that they did like buy it hook, line, and sinker uh, I, I think should indicate that they'll believe anything. Anything that's put out there that confirms anything that will 
confirm what they already think they will believe. That's no way to really find truth. And I would really implore Jordan as well as anybody else, uh, anybody else out there that's watching to not be that way. Uh, be skeptical of things, okay? Uncool Ben. Woo, he looks like a meme master 9000 over there, doesn't he? Fucking fat religious brainwashed moron! Go get a proper job and burn some fucking calories, cunt! God damn, uncool Ben. You definitely are uncool. How about stop worrying about like my health situation here? Actually, I go to the doctor every like three months or so because I am a diabetic and I get checked out and pretty much the only thing that's fucked up about me is my pancreas is bad. Now, granted, I do need to lose weight. How about you stay out of my like health situation and you just worry about being a dipshit? A Romeo line bomb. Wow, trying to make money by disproving truth and hiding God? Your name says it all. Godless! Also, wow, you haven't proved anything. Just the same thinking as we used to have before waking up. Oh, you mean just general fucking knowledge of reality and, uh, you know, science and shit. Yeah, so uh, I always, I love this particular comment because it shows how much they just want to have this special knowledge that's against everything that we already think. Like, all of the proven science is just thrown out the window, and it's this new and exciting thing. It doesn't really make sense, and there's no actual proof behind it, but fuck, it makes me seem like I'm superior to everybody, doesn't it? And that's pretty much the mentality of these types of people. I have to say, if you're in a conversation with somebody that's just looking to lord their superiority over you, instead of having a conversation, I mean, I would say that it's probably time to end that, unless you're going to have fun with it and then just have fun with it. <laughs> okay, so I have to explain this a little bit. A while ago, Anita Fuentes, who is an online, like, preacher woman or whatnot, she runs her own online, like, ministry and whatnot, and she, at the time, she was begging for money and all this other stuff. So I, I made a video about it, and then she falsely DMCA'd my video uh, where I, it was totally under fair use, and so this is somebody that is in support of her. Choochie boy 214! Anita Fuentes is a woman of God. She's a beautiful woman. Better you repent of this hate in your heart and be safe. She's help us saying about the love of Lord Jesus and about the end times. You can't see what's going on all over the planet. Why do you have so much hate in you? You judge her and try to destroy her God and sees seeing. Be careful. Don't destroy people of God. You will destroy if you don't stop the evil come to destroy people and you is used to destroy wake up stop before it's too late choose love heart not hate wow <laughs> i get that anita is a woman of god i don't really give a fuck about that i don't care if you're a woman or a man of god in fact if you say oh, i'm a woman of god i am superior to you like i don't know that just makes me not want to listen to whatever the fuck you have to say because it literally doesn't matter if you believe in one god or another god either your information is wrong or it's correct so i don't know what his whole point is about not being able to see what's going on all over the planet i guess maybe it's like oh you shouldn't talk about shit you don't know about and you don't know every single fucking thing in this universe uh and a, a whole bunch of destruction talk uh destroy something destroy people i don't know anyways listen stop being a dipshit actually think about the things that you're saying in these things because i mean look you've got you just the letter you in the place of the word you but then you sometimes spell you that's that gets on my nerves it would be much better if you could actually convey whatever the fuck you're talking about because just throwing god destroy god destroy in my face is not going to make me listen to what you're saying it's just going to prove to me that your god is a destruction type of god that all that god wants to do is just destroy anybody that disagrees with me we're gonna kill all of you sinners and haters out there like, why would anybody want to support that particular belief? I don't know. <laughs> this one contains a word that I am not allowed to say, and I just can't, I can't say it. So I bleeped it out. Player five. I'd worry about your weight and much less about... 
and fake news. I would worry about you being a dipshit, you know, being insufferable to the people around you than worrying about my weight. Also, if this is the best thing that you can come up with to comment on this particular video instead of actually describing how I'm wrong or how the guy's right or anything like that, just shows that you don't have an actual argument. I really don't care about these whole weight like you're fat or reduce your calories or anything like that kind of comments. I mean, I really don't care about it. So there's really no point in even mentioning my weight. But these people, they don't have anything to actually comment with. They don't have any actual substance or points to come back with. So they just go for the regular ad hom and brush me off. John Malloy, is it the same etheric magic that causes the laser gyroscope to show a 15 degree shift an hour? What? Well, yes, John, that is exactly what causes light to just stop uh, so far away from the sun if it's 93 million miles away. It's etheric magic that gets in the way. In fact, the etheric magic has a big dick and that dick blocks the sun. That's what happens. More shitty ass science. You sound like a woman, you boring and funny waste of time. Woo. Considering the fact that I surround myself with very intelligent women, I can only take this as a compliment. But me being unfunny? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm goddamn hilarious, dipshit. Lou B. Dude, you can't explain gravity, so stop it! Gravity cannot be proven because it's a theory! I'm not into theories! Only scientific facts! 100%! By the way, D-Marble knows what he is talking about! Gravity is pseudoscience! Now that's a fact! I don't know what my voice turned into there. It started out kind of country and then it turned into something I don't even fucking know, but that's where it went. Gravity is a theory, but uh, it's also a fact and a law. Because of the massive amount of evidence that we have for gravity, it is a fact, okay? But there's also a law of gravity that describes uh, gravity's effects in mathematical terms. And then there is gravitational theory, which describes how the, uh, like in, in, in plain English, it describes how gravity interacts with our reality. So, it, I mean, you're wrong in all accounts here. Just because some Something is a scientific theory doesn't mean that it's not correct. Scientific theories are built on a multitude of facts. So to say that you don't believe in theories, you only believe in facts, that just doesn't make sense, okay? And no, D Marble doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. D Marble's a dipshit, and obviously you follow in his dipshit ways. Oh, Jake the asshole responded to the black hole video that I did of him. Well, I mean, this was a live stream, uh, so I mean, it, it you know, it, it was a live reaction to it. But here we go. Here's Jake in all of his awesomeness responding to my video. Let's see if he actually refutes anything that I say. You should use some CGI to get rid of the herpes and acne on your ugly down syndrome ridden face. You keep saying we in this video as if you were part of NASA or as if you had anything to do with any black hole discovery. You haven't ever proven anything except that you are a fat sloth with acne and herpes that you Definitely have proven. You should create a character to speak on your behalf like Professor Dipshit does so we don't have to see your ugly Down Syndrome face. LOL. Oh man. I like how hateful he is to like the Down Syndrome community out there. Like just saying that they're all just fucking ugly and shit. I mean, they, they have a genetic disease, dude. Why the fuck you hating on them for something they can't change about themselves and that they didn't choose? I get hating me because I'm fat or that I've got some little zits or something that I've like messed with on my chin. I get that. Leave the Down Syndrome kids alone, okay? They didn't do shit to you, okay, fucker? But when I was talking about we, I was meaning the scientific community at large. I do consider myself part of the scientific community. And so I don't mean that to speak like on behalf of the scientific community, but I do hope to relay scientific information that the community uh, has, has collected. Also, I'm not so much a fat sloth. I mean, like, I get up every day at about 5 a.m. or so and I start my day and I don't go to bed till about midnight. And it's not that I'm just sitting about, like, all day or anything. I'm actually going, moving, doing things. I mean, I work 40 hours a week, plus I gotta come home and record dipshit videos like this. 
Oh, and I have several characters for which to pull from, uh, and I do on occasion in this show. I've got Jesus, I've got Illuminati, I've even got a Professor Stick thing. <laughs> Azrat Megasha. Gravity doesn't exist, man! Do you want us to understand gravity works while it doesn't exist? Magnetism due to magnets. Fuyo effect of magnets and magnetic matter field exists, but it has no meaning as pulling, pushing planets, right? Thanks. Believing in Grizzly existence is ridiculous, right? Um, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, all, the only thing that I really grasp from this is that gravity doesn't exist. How can you teach us about gravity if it doesn't exist? Uh, so uh, I'll respond to that instead of whatever kind of fucking stroke happened right there in right after the first what is that it's really just one sentence i mean holy fuck look at this shit like oh no no there's two because there's an exclamation point and then there's a question mark but at the end he's got a comma question mark so excellent grammar but anyways i'm just gonna refer out, respond to the first two sentences because the rest of it was a stroke but yes gravity does exist and yes pens falling or you being able to drop anything and it fall to the ground is proof of gravity so gravity definitely exists and teaching you what the globe model actually says about gravity, I feel like is very important for the discussion. So stop being a dipshit and don't have a stroke while you're typing a comment. Pharaoh affirms, that sleeveless does you zero favors. I disagree. My sleeves are awesome. I get to show off my tattoos and shit. Whew. You know, I got a tank top that says uh, the bitch made tank top from Non Sequitur, and I look fabulous in that shit. Semisational. Why? Wash your face and clean up your diet if you want your face to represent the ball. Okay. Uh, <laughs> these comments where they're just denigrating my looks are utterly hilarious. I mean, I don't really have to know anything because it's just, ah, there. You got a dirty ass face. Why you got to represent the globe Earth when you got a dirty ass fucking face? It's like, um, for one thing, I bathe every day, unlike you probably uh, i don't have any of these things you can know that you're not like this ultra ugly motherfucker and it really doesn't even matter if you are you could be the ugliest fucker on the planet as long as you're not saying gravity doesn't exist and flipping your video upside down to prove it doesn't exist <laughs> or to prove that it's uh, uh ridiculous to think that gravity does exist i think that you're fine you're like you're you're what you're saying should mad matter more than how you look but that doesn't matter to these people because they are suffering from cognitive dissonance and that's what it boils down to they have this cognitive dissonance being presented information that contradicts what they already think so what they do is they reject that information and then they project that anger towards you and they'll pick out anything i could be the healthiest motherfucker out here and they would end up calling me something else or they would pick out some other kind of physical attribute that they don't like about me so it really doesn't fucking matter at all all what these people say about how you look or, or your weight or how you're living or whatnot because at least you're not living like a flat earther. Oh man, that took a toll on me today. God. You, you know what though? It'll help me out if you go down below, leave me a comment with what you thought about these dipshits today. While you're down there, make sure you hit that link and vote for this week's dumbass. Also, you could smash that like button and subscribe if you like this kind of dipshit stuff. Don't forget to stand up and use your voice and I will see you heathens later.